So I have been thinking about doing this uh, vlog for quite a few months, probably for over a year. The first thing I kind of wanted to say was kind of like a public service announcement type thing, which everybody should know. But uh, even on YouTube and Instagram, Facebook, um, everybody needs to understand that what they see on there is not reality. It's maybe 20% of the reality, but it's not real. I like to call it uh, edited reality because everybody edits everything to look the best that they possibly can. And it's, it's not real. Um, and just like that, in our vlogs for instance, I can make our kids look great and they're the best kids in the world, but uh, they're just like every other kid out there these days where they would rather play video games all day long and they have messy rooms and they eat all that normal kid stuff that uh, yeah, we just choose not to put in our vlogs. The one other thing you may have noticed um, if you know us is that I haven't really talked about um, our housing situation because a couple of years ago we had a business go under. We made some mistakes. It was more of a corporate decision um, where they restructured the management team and they decided they wanted to go in a different direction and it kind of left us high and dry and we had invested a ton of money into it and probably some not really good personal financing decisions on our own uh, compounded that to even worse to the point that we were left with no other option except um, to either go bankrupt um, or sell our house and pay off all the business debts um, and basically buy a broken down mobile home to move into that we could hopefully fix up and it's really hard to talk about um, we could hopefully fix up and sell again um, so that we could move back to a house and that was what we chose to do we chose not to go bankrupt because I did not want to have bad credit for several years I know it takes forever to recover from that and I figured that we got ourselves in this mess we need to get it ourselves out of the mess so we decided to sell our house luckily we were able to make a fair bit of money off of it from when we first bought it um, and that helped to pay off a lot of the debt um, but it basically left us just enough to buy the mobile home that we moved into and this was not a nice mobile home when we got here. It was broken down. Nobody lived in it for about a year and a half. This is how it looked when we first bought it. Grapevines running all over the driveway side with rats running through them. Siding not finished on the one side of the house probably because they ran out. Original plywood cabinet kitchen. Nice Mario themed living room. Uh, this is one of the bedrooms with the uh, hot water heater. This is where they ripped out the wall between the two bedrooms that we had to replace. This was the uh, master bedroom. Very nice paint job. Uh, this is the original furnace that was in the house. And yeah, it wasn't good. It had a lot of work that needed to be done. It felt really shitty to have to move our kids from a nice house that we had, like, uh, just a, a mid middle income house but it had like a, an in-ground pool and a hot tub and all that stuff that uh, we liked and we had to move from a 2200 square foot house into a 900 square foot mobile home with only one bathroom for four people and it it was tough and there were times that during the winter when I had to fix the outside of it where it was literally just tie par paper and insulation separating us from 
the uh, outside um, in the dead of winter and yeah it was tough like it was basically a whole rebuild and like I'd done some home renovation stuff quite a bit in our previous houses I did a lot of it but those were smaller projects where it was like one at a time this was basically like a whole rebuild that I had to do by myself because that was the only way we could afford it and basically with the help of my dad and and credit cards um, we financed all the repairs and then um, finally put it up for sale in January and I'm so thankful for all the support from my family and everybody helping us and I'm so happy that I get to move our family back into a house and get us back to the point that we were at two years ago before everything kind of went bad. So that's what I mean when I, I say like you shouldn't be seeing everything on Instagram and envying everybody's life because whatever they're showing on there is probably 10 or 20 percent of their life and there's so much more behind the scenes that you don't know about that they don't tell you about just always remember that just you might think your life looks so ordinary compared to others but that's because you're seeing every good thing in their life compressed into one video or a series of videos that they upload whenever they decide they did something exciting um, so anyway I am going to show you some of the before and after pictures of this mobile home that we moved into because it was uh, it, it's quite a transformation and I'm pretty proud of, uh, of, of us for getting all this work done I'm gonna tell you I did we did everything ourselves except for the mudding and taping because I hated it like I hate mudding and taping I did like maybe 10% of it I did the bathroom so we hired somebody to do that but everything else we did ourselves and I have to say it turned out pretty awesome um, uh, we'll show you some pictures here First thing we did was rip off all the skirting. The framing was all rotted and most of the skirting was broken. Then we put on a steel roof. All the water damaged wood was replaced with new wood. This is the house uh, all wrapped in Tyvek paper. Started putting on the new siding. And this is when we had the platform for the addition built and most of the framing done on the addition. And this is the inside. It was pretty much a disaster. We had it down to pretty much just the insulation. But Dylan found enough room to play his computer still. This is the uh, kitchen that we got used out of somebody's house and this was the new furnace we put in which was surprisingly expensive. So we're pretty much at the zenith of how horrible this place is to live in. Worse? How could they get any worse? Take a look around you Ellen. We're at the threshold of hell. How do you think it feels here Dylan? Terrible. Terrible? I want my room back. <laughs> So uh, this is the uh, living room, right now they're trying to get down all the drywall taping, so this is the most horrible, got the drywallers mess of tools and stuff here, this is our kind of kitchen right now, 
I had to take most of the cabinets off. Some makeshift countertops. Stove that has to be pulled out from the wall. And then we can take a walk down. Walk down the hallway here. And got lots of dressers and TVs. Air conditioner, try to keep it cool. This would be Dylan's room. Trying to minimize how much stuff is in here so he can fan and do all the taping. Oh, here's Kale's room. Hi, Kale. How, uh, how much have you been enjoying the uh, renovations here? What's, what's, been, what's been the hardest part? I'm moving stuff. Many stuff. Yeah. So yeah, it's been horrible. Uh, I'll keep going down the hallway here. And we got where the washer and dryer is. So this is our fun that we get to have when we need to wash clothes every three days, we get to bring the washing machine all the way down the hallway, hook it up, wash all the clothes we need, then unhook it, bring it all the way back, bring the dryer up, and hook that up, do the dry, dryer, dry all the clothes, and do it all over again in three days. Pretty horrible. Uh, bathroom, Almost done, but now it's being used to store everything so the guy can work on the mudding and taping. And then yeah, our room, pretty much same thing. Lots of horribleness. So yeah, that's basically how we're living right now. Hopefully this should be done in another two or three days then we get the paint and we can start laying floor and and doing all the trim on the wind doors and windows so yeah so the inside of the house uh still under construction with all the drywall the outside we're getting farther along here compared to what it was so I gotta put the railing on the front there. Some new steps, new gravel for the driveway. Side there, we put a new deck on. Going down the side yard, it's kind of full of junk right now from construction. Oh, there's our kitchen table that's been sitting out here because we have no room for it right now in the house. It's gonna be a deck here for the barbecue and then the backyard. Still have to put all the siding and roof on the shed, put a new door on it. So yeah, that's kind of where we're where we're at right now. Hoping this will end up being worth the money. So my original idea was to do this whole reno in one video, but after editing it, um, it's kind of looking like it's taking way too long. Um, so I think I'm gonna break it up into two videos. So the next video will show you the uh, finished product and uh, maybe we'll interview the kids and Karina and we can all talk about how this whole experience um, was for everybody. And uh, if you want to make sure you don't uh, miss that video, you can just click down on the subscribe button and the little bell, and uh, you'll be notified when the video pops up on uh, YouTube. All right, till then, we'll see you later.